I am Anil Kumar and I have taken a very simple example here to review the concepts which we have learned about trigonometric functions in Unit 6 Advanced Functions. Now in this video we will see how the average rate can be seen from the graph itself. So the question here is consider the graph below list a set of points where the average rate of change in height with time is uh, negative, zero or positive. Correct. So that is the question. So when we are considering average rate of change, we are considering two points, right? So that means there is a point which is A, so there will be a point which is A and the value at that point will be FA. The other point can be B, the value at that point will be F of B. Average rate of change is difference quotient. So what average rate of change is, let me write down, which is F of B minus f of a divided by b minus a. Now on a graph if you take a set of points and join them then you get secant line. Slope of that secant line tells you what the average rate of change is. Now when we say is negative that means we are taking two points. If we join them then we get negative slope. So we could take points like like a point here right and a point here. So in that case, if I join them, then the line joining them will be falling downwards as we see from left to right. So it will have a negative slope, right? So that could be uh, the set of points of our interest, correct? So that is one answer, for example. So like this on a graph, you can draw many, many points, which will give you negative average rate of change. So let's list these points. So the point is from for the value here is x value is 4, t you can say, and height is 5. So the value is from 4, 5 is the coordinate point to the other point is at 8, 1, right? So, so that becomes the set of points. Let's call these set as A and B, right? For all, we'll have two sets of points. Let's say this is A and this is B for us. Where the slope is negative. You could have taken A and B like this also. Okay. Now the second is where is average rate of change zero. Zero means horizontal line, correct? So you could select any two points and that could be zero for us. Okay. So that is okay. So we could select these two points. So now I'll write down the two points as let us say C and D. So these points are 2 and 3. So the point C, which is 3, 2, D, which is 6, 3. So the y values are same. Therefore, their difference is going to be 0. Since their difference is 0, the average rate of change is going to be 0. And now for positive, what we can do is we can select points which when joined will give you a rising line correct so so we could also select c and a for example so if you select c and a it gives you a positive line so the points could be c as 2 3 we already have it to a which is 4 5 so like this you can find number of points on a graph and figure out when joining these two points what kind of line do you get is the line falling down or it is horizontal or it is rising accordingly the average rate of change could be negative zero or positive i hope that helps thank you and all the best